What's good, my people, and welcome back. You on the lockout. The reason why the shorts call on the lockout is because not everybody locks out of Rackers Island on the lockout. Facts. Rackers Island, C95. I'm with Cole Mega, the rapper. And my man, Nini, he had like 12 years to do. 12 to life, some crazy sentence for robbing a Jew there, whatever. Big brolic dude, Nini. He knew Spanish, English. He was like Moreno mix, black mix, right? Which you... Puerto Rican, you black, point blank. Facts. So, it's me, him, the rapper called Mega. We in the shower. And for those dudes that tell you they don't do it or they never did it while they was up north, they lying. They just don't want to seem or you to get the wrong picture. A lot of dudes do, especially if you was gang. Cole Mega was like my best friend in C95. To me, he didn't have to feel the same way, and I know these things. To me, he was my best friend, the rapper. Nas's man. So I used to always be like, yo, Mega, you going to shower? And then he would say, yeah, and I'll get ready and I'll go take it, you know, get my stuff so we can shower so we can hold each other down while we shower and have each other's back, right? Because it's popping all over, especially at them years. So now Nini's in the shower, but he was my boy. Like I was with him all day too. So we showering, uh, Nene was about to take off all his boxes. I'm like, bro, you're not going to free ball right here. Like, we come to the shower together, but we don't free ball. Free ball is like when you take off your whole underwears and everything. You just free ball and your nutsacks in the air. Like, homie, you're not doing that next to me. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, why are we all men? Nah, bro. I said, yo, Nene, we not doing that. You my dude and all that, but don't free ball in here, bro. And I was a wild little dude always on the island up north. Whoever knows me. Will tell you, bro. Somebody's going to pop up in the comments and tell you. And if they say otherwise, they lying. They just hate us. And I know we're going to have a lot of those. And don't let the pretty boy here with the gel confuse you. I always used to tell dudes that on the island. Because there was times I had a Caesar. Then I put gel on it. All that. You already know I was trying to have the pretty boy look. Even though I know I'm ugly as hell. <laughs> so anyway, boom. As a matter of fact, give me one second. I'm going to get into the story with Colmeg and what happened, bro. It got gang. That is hot as fuck in here. So anyway, we on the island. Mind you, Nini was in the shower. Remember, he wanted to take his boxes over now. He's my boy. We running around together and all that. <laughs> so now, the next day, we finished taking a shower that passed. The next day, dudes is like getting their hair braided. And there's a dude that goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? He's in our house. They live everywhere with you. They got to live somewhere, right? At that time, it was a lot of nietas, kings, bloods. Everybody was living in the same house. It was popping. It was lit. So, if anybody know the nieta dudes, no disrespect, because I got some of my friends that were still believing that shit, right? They were accepting dudes that go both ways, you know, to each his own. We didn't play that. They did. So... Then he had that dude is braiding somebody's hair. So this dude comes in and dude's like, oh, he snapped Tony Braxton. And they whistling. So you already know what type of party that, what was going on there, right? Who came in? Boom. So Nene is like, oh, it's lit. It's on. And he didn't say lit because that word wasn't even being used like that back then. But he was like, it's on. It's on tonight. So I see him call homeboy to his cell. Then he comes back out and he's like, Yo, war, hold me down. Hmm? I got Scooby Doo on him. Hmm? 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 <laughs> like, nah, bro, I can't do that. Plus, I'm involved with, with gang over here. Like, we don't play that, bro. You know, like, I get busy, but you trying to get me killed? Like, what's up? <laughs> you bugging? So, my man, mind you, I've been through a lot of things in my childhood, you know, as a kid. And I'm seeing this by a dude that is my man, bro. And he had the jail. He was with us. We had it smashed. Like the house, he was running around slapping dudes in the hallway and all that. He was fast with it. So, bro, he puts a curtain up and he just starts blowing this dude's buns out. I can't see it. We can't see it, but we can hear it. My little man's in them are laughing like, oh, yo, your man Nene's crazy. I'm my man Nene. 
Like, I try to disown him right away, but at the same token, it was like, bro, he been bitten. I don't know. He wild. His wife was mad pretty, too. So anyway, to make a long story short, bro, then he did his thing with Tony Braxton, right? Then he comes out. As soon as they come out the cell, he's like, yo, you see my man right here? Whenever he wants his hair cut, you cut his hair for free. He talking about me. I'm like, bro, he never going to cut my hair. Number one, I go to the barber shop. I got somebody to cut my hair. And do not tell this dude that he needs to cut my hair for free or nothing. Like, cause, and I don't got nothing against what nobody does and what they involved with in life, right? But the people that I deal with, like, we don't deal. And I don't, you know what I'm saying, affiliate myself with that. Like, it's just facts, you know? Like, I don't mind, like, you say hi and bye, cool. I don't got nothing against it. But we can't have somebody braiding our hair, doing all that's just the rules, point blank. You got to know what you signed up for. Like we was telling 6 9 he had to know what he signed up for. This is what you signed up for, my man. Facts. So if I'm trying to um, uh, make everybody apply the rules, like, my dude, you got to follow rules. I have to follow them too. You know what I'm saying? So he goes up to the other dude. Yo, and his hair too, his hair, he's telling him what to do. You know what I'm saying? You're going to give me this. You're going to do this for me. Bottom line is the dude wasn't filling the house. The next day he left because Nene kept blowing his buns out like the whole night. Like had him dried up, I guess. So they got him up out of there. Boom. But it was voluntarily. He wasn't like being raped or nothing. He voluntarily gave up the buns. Boom. So now we go outside. They call commissary for other houses. Me and Nene get out the house. Boom. Because we trying to see dudes at commissary that owe and all that. This dude comes out in Spanish and says, yo, ese es maricón. You know, like, that's the dude that gets busy with other dudes. My man, for what was that? Nene was walking around with his, he had a jacket, like a velour um, rockerwear jacket, because we had the rockerwear jackets at that time. Velour at Rikers Island, you was able to rock your clothes at that time and get jiggy, your chain and all that. We walking through with our chains on, our velour jackets, ah, uh-huh, right? I didn't really care. Like, you know, I did because I was still shocked from what happened with him and Duke. But I'm like, you know, that's not the first dude I've been around up north and on the island that I found out that did things like that. But was his gun was still going off like hard where everybody respected him. And I looked at it as long as you don't violate me with none of that, you good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. Keep busting your gun because he was somebody on our team that his gun went off. He was like ready. So... Oh my God, this dude says that to him. Nene hears him. He turns around and he's like, my man. He gets behind him. He's like, yo, whoa, hold me down. I'm like, out here, bro. <laughs> but it wasn't that. <laughs> so we get on the line behind the doing commissary. Another Puerto Rican dude. You know, you violate, you get it. It didn't matter if you was Puerto Rican. I didn't care about that. I was one of those that didn't care about that. I was for the people, for all the people, for what was right. Black, Puerto Rican, whatever. That's why dudes loved me. So homeboy violated, now you got to, you call the wolf, now you got to see him. You talk bad about that man, whether it was facts or false, you you you, you put him out there. You don't do those. So he, Nene tells him, yo, it's my body, I do what I want with my body, but since you want to talk, boom, hold that. He said just like that, boom, he did it with his mouth while he ripped him, he made the noise himself, he went, boom, hold that. Duke said, Oh, my God, he cut me, he cut me. Leaking everywhere, bro, all over. We start walking fast. We make it in our house. Boom, we change. They roll right up to Nini. It's on camera and everything, bro. They snatch him out. They snatch me out. They take Nini to the box. Boom, I had to bail him out the box. At that time, you had to give her bullets, bangers, a bunch of things to bail him out. You was able to get out the box by bailing him out barely. Whoever knew... Captain Bailey, Depp Bailey at that time, he was coming from building to building and just bailing you out the bing. Was it illegal? Of course it was. That's how they were getting their stripes up, stripes up that they found bullets, they found knives, they were finding all this. They wasn't finding nothing. We would, The inmates was giving them that because if they put my man in the box and I wanted him out, I'll give him 20 guns. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't like we went around collecting guns from other dudes. We made those 20 guns. Like, yo, make it, hurry up. We got to get this dude out. So, you know, they just figured, they knew we was making them. So, is the do the logic. They just wanted metal, sharpened metal. So, it looked like, look, man, 
my team is doing their job, guys. I need a promotion this month, you know? And they were letting dudes out the box. There was monsters. And then dude would come out and blast somebody else again, and you bail them out again. You know what I'm saying? That was back in the days. I, I don't know if that still happens right now. So anyway, homeboy got twisted. Boom. My bad. You know, he should have kept his mouth shut. Mind you, that's one, bro. That that was crazy. Like, we get Nene out the box. I make the moves to get him out the box. We get him back in my house. At that time, if you knew a dude's numbers, you get him pulled right back to your house. You could be in your house sleeping, and if you was my man, I'll give your numbers to the CO. Boom, and they'll pack you up in the middle of the night. You'll be like, what's up? You want to pack up? And they'll bring you to my house, and I'm like, what up? And you like, ah, oh, bro, you should have left me over there. I was getting a pack tomorrow, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hear now, too. So somebody starts beefing and telling me through the cells, me and Comega is rapping. We like spin. Comega used to rap and break down the whole alphabet, like letter by letter, and make words out of it in music and hip hop. Official. So me and Mega is freestyling. Uh uh, I get it in. Gangster for real, committing sins. You already know how we do this once again. Bang bang, boogie chain gang. Uh, you know whatever. I'm just bugging. So we rapping like that. We saying anything. That's what freestyle is about. It comes out the way it gotta come out. You know what I'm saying? Um, you already know the recipe. Gangsters get the best of me. Old school strength, deep bold like centipede. You know whatever it be. You know the recipe. <laughs> The rest is up to you. It would never be up to me. So check it. I'm bugging out and I'm talking too much. You know I'm sleepy, nigga. So anyway, boom. We uh, we rapping just like that, making mad noise. I just wanted to show you what it was talking about. So it's becoming annoying because we freestyling. Anything is coming out. It's sounding whack. It's sounding good. That's what real freestyle is about. If you know about freestyle and hip-hop, it comes out the way it comes out. When a dude says... Yo, the freestyle he did on Hot 97 was official. Come on, bro. That was written, my man. Facts. That's not a freestyle. A freestyle from the top of your head. Actually picking out things that you see as you go along. That's what real freestyle was about. Like, that curtain is white. That wall is blue. I get down. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. That's what it was back when it first started. Then it started changing. I don't know how. I guess, like, the snitching rules, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, homeboy says, yo, shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas shut the fuck up. And that was something that I used to always tell everybody at night. But today I'm making noise and I felt like violated. Like he told me, like, we run this. What? So I was insane. I said, don't worry, I got him in the morning. But this is how dudes get down. Being that we get busy for each other, like with the gun game or with the hands. However, Nene wakes up before me. Boom. And before a lot of dudes. So he tells the CO, yo, open 12 cell. The CO, you know, don't even ask no questions. Opens Duke's cell while he's sleeping. Because and C95 is with the buttons. It's not like HDM that is the wheel. It's just like a gang and that cell opens. You feel me? Unless you got one of those cells that is hard. And I think some of them got like a key and they spin it for you and then they open it. I don't know. <laughs> I think if I remember well. But most of them, they open, tang, 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 on the lock on you hear, plum, 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 plum. Like, you know that sound, ting, 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 ting. You know it's getting to yours, ting, ting. So they open it, and all you hear is, ah, ah, boom, 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 ah. Doo, doo. You know when the dude's thumping, if you've been locked up before, you know them, them thump sounds. You know, you like, oh, he got stabbed there. Oh, he got hit with a locker. Ah. Uh, crazy it's lit you like holy snap so i'm like yo let me out but they're not letting nobody out because now the seal you can feel the vibration on the floor of dude stumping nini stabs this dude bro blew him pushed his wig back blew him hard the dude was in a stretcher leaking hard body don't ever disrespect my little man warpath i'm in my cell like mm -hmm. i got scooby-doo on him mm -hmm. <laughs> What? I'm like, hmm? what? Like, again? It was crazy, bro. But shout out to Nene. You know, all that other shit that he was doing was crazy. We did not agree with that. Me, 
mega nobody, but did his gun go off? That's why I heard China Mac saying in an interview on Vlad TV that there's dudes that were straight gangsters, but there was booty bandits, and that's a fact. The homeboy was one of them. But if he liked you, he was loyal, and he would never disrespect you, and that's why he did with me, Mega, and a bunch of us. And that day, I didn't need him to do that for me, bro. I actually felt bad for homeboy after that. Even, you know, and I didn't really care about nobody at that point. But I felt bad because I'm like, I was just going to slap him, bro. And then if it had to leave, lead to anything else happening, then cool. But Nini just went in there with the bone crusher, like, bang, ah, you heard him from the gate. Ah, boom, 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 and twisted him left in a stretcher. God bless that dude wherever he's at. If he even made it, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. And, of course, yes, Nene went to the box, right? They knew it was him. They both in the cell, bro. He told on himself. He just was out of there. And every time people think, yo, I'm sentenced. I'm going up north. Don't worry. I got this. Stop thinking like that, bro. Because people put you out there to be a crash dummy on the island. They be like, yo, you're going up north anyway. Here, hold this. If you get caught, it's nothing. You're not You're not going to make it to the bing. You, live up, you leave up north next month. Stop that. Depending on what it is, the last time I was up north, it was following dudes. Now, before, it used to not follow dudes. Now, it got to the point where you get to the island and what you did before, if you had box time, you're going to do it now when you go back. I got away with a lot of that stuff. If you have red ID, like we have red, green, and all that, when you go back, you got red ID again with the mittens, green ID, you got the rainbow card, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, my first card, I thought I graduated. Like, welcome. You've made it. You got a green ID. Like, you're walking around with a green ID like it's something proud. Some of these dudes get, act like they really been through something. I'm going to tell you facts. They got caught with um with tea, with a tea bag trying to roll it up with regular tobacco. That, you know, tobacco's illegal now, so they give you all types of ID, I guess, for it now. But they, uh, they got red ID. They didn't put in no work. He had a sharpened toothbrush. You know what I mean? It's something that if you pull out of me, I'm going to murk you. They didn't really put in work. You know what I'm saying? But then you got those that don't get it confused. Looks up deceiving. He look like a biggest bird in the world. And he's that one that's putting in work. But all that follows you now. From the last time I was there, from what I remember, it follows you, my man. Don't be dumb. Don't put in work for somebody. And they telling you, oh, you're going up north, bro. Hold his razor. You shouldn't be holding a razor, a gun, nothing for nobody that has to do with contraband. Once you start holding something for somebody, you're a soldier for life. You're going to hold that. I never held nothing for nobody unless I was getting something out of it or it was mine too. Like me and the blood kids, we had the tobacco, my man D. So I would hold like 28 pouches and he'll hold 28 because we was getting money together with it. I didn't mind. You feel me? And he didn't mind. He'll hold it down sometimes more than me, to be real. You know what I'm saying? And... Another thing, look how we was getting those tobacco packages. Another dude that wasn't involved with our gang like that, the CEO was like men, and he would flash him. Every time he came by himself, he had to pull out, bang, and show him the mandingo. And once he showed him the mandingo, the CEO would be like, all right, and then he'll go in the bathroom and get like 50 pouches and pass them to him, and Duke could pass him the money. But before any transaction happened, he would go by the cells and see who was showing him the mandingo, and he'll be like, "Yo, give him a pouch. Yo, give cell ten a pouch. Yo, give. If you was holding, you get a pouch. That's how crazy it was, bro, on the island. That CEO got knocked too. He got caught with mad pouches. Somebody told you know the haters, and it'd be our same people telling on each other that you probably didn't give him a cigarette or something. It's just facts. But that's how he was. He would come through whoever." Was in C95 or know what I'm talking about, bro. Leave it in the comments if you remember this door, you heard the rumors. He would come around with his flashlight, and if you flashed him, bang, and showed him the Matruski, he'll be like, I, right, your shit is right, you get one. Like, that's crazy. I was like, hmm? I turned Scooby Doo on niggas. Like, hmm? I mean, hmm? <laughs> wow, bro. But anyway, man, I love y'all, man. I'd rather have four. Two, one, real subscriber, then have a million fake dudes. This is on the lockout. My name is Warpath. I'll never lie to you in my life. 
If there's something you want to know about me, ask me, and I'll tell you. But other than that, if you f- follow my stories, I'll tell you about myself little by little so nobody can ever say nothing wrong about me, you heard? That's why I told you all about the opiates, homelessness, abuse as a child, selling drugs, then doing drugs, comas, imprisonment, robberies, ran off on dudes' packs, was a stick-up kid too. I done it all. You know what I'm saying? I, I done coward moves. I done super brave moves. Because some moves that I made, dudes would be like, that was cowardly. To me, I was surviving. That's why I don't knock a lot of dudes. You know what I'm saying? They just stole my phone. You know what I'm saying? I just bought it a week ago. I mean, they didn't take it off my hand, but I, I got mad, but I don't cry about it. I need my phone because that's what I edit my videos with, what I do my work with and all that, and what I like doing that keeps me out of trouble. But I look at it like that's karma. You know how many phones I stole from people? You know how many things I took from people? Come on. The good thing is I'm still alive, man. God bless y'all all. I'm Warpath. I love y'all, man. That's a fact. On the lockout. Remember, don't go to jail, man. It's for suckers. It's nothing to glorify. I used to think I was tough coming from the island or upstate. Nah. When you stay home with your family, that's gangster. When you take care of your daughter, your kids, your dog, your chihuahua, your birds. When you take a bath. When you could get a few dollars and with your last $15, you could walk out to go get a haircut. Instead of using it for weed or drugs, you use it. Because you want to look good and feel good about yourself, that's gangster. That's gang. God bless y'all. Have a good night. Comment. I answer back all the comments. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Show love. I show it back all the time. I'm real to my real ones. We on deck. On the lockout. Another video soon.